All right, guys, so today I wanted to show you a couple of tricks on FL Studio's piano roll that you might not have noticed. I'm going to show you how to get from this and turn it into something like this without having to write any notes at all. So, I've started off with just a basic major and minor chord progression, like this. And then I've selected the bottom notes and duplicated them an octave below to make the little deeper bass line. And then I'm going to copy and paste all of this again over here. And to make it a bit more interesting, on the second half of the loop, I'm going to select all of these bottom notes here and I'm going to put them at the top so it inverts these chords. And then once I've done that, I'm going to clone it so we've got a spare copy to go back to. So I'm just going to rename this cards and then if we ever want to go back and use them again or change them, we've got them saved. So now in this one, what I'm going to do is select all of these top notes just by using the select tool, drag in along the side of the piano and then if we go up to this little spanner tool at the top and click arpeggiate what it's going to do is cut up all these notes and make a pattern out of them if you press space bar it's going to let you have a listen If you want to keep that, make sure you've got group notes unticked, otherwise it gels them all together and it's, it's really hard to work with them. And then you just hit accept and then they're there. And if you want you could you could have a play about with them, you could move move certain notes and change them. Or if we undo this, we can go back on the ar arpeggiator settings. And there's different options we've got. We've got this time wall knob here that changes how fast the pattern is. So we can have it like this. Or you could have it faster. Or you could have it slower like this. And as well as that, we've got the gate which changes the length of them so that it would be shorter and stabbier if you wanted. And then up here we can change the pattern. Flip is going to turn the notes upside down. Alternate is going to do a mixture 
so it's, they're going up and down. And then we've got range, so you can split it over a few octaves if you want. And then this time block and chord, which are going to change the pattern a bit as well. And then as well as them, we can go into this pattern, to groove template at the top. get some pretty interesting melodies from this and then you could you could keep them on the piano or you could change them to a different synth you could just copy these notes stick them on a different piano roll So here I'm just using one of these voice samples out of the sounds out of my sounds of Makina pack that I made. And all I've done is put it in put it on a mixer track and added a couple of effects. This is what it, this is what it sounds like before the effects. And then, as well as that, I made a simple piano with the app, just like this. And this is just the, the standard FL Studio piano VST, FL keys. And with this, I just added a couple of effects again. So without the effects, it sounds like this. And then I put a little bit of EQ on to get rid of some of the bass and brighten it up a bit. And then just a little bit of reverb and delay. And then I found these in the FL Studio um, one of them was in the packs folder that comes with FL Studio in Orchestral. It's at FLS Strings. And I found another one 
in the sound fonts folder, that strings ensemble. These strings are just the same notes from the original MIDI that we wrote, the original MIDI that we made at the start. Just a simple chord progression. And then the, the top line of the piano was just a simple just a standard app setting. And then this melody was just one of the trance app settings, I think. And this bass line is just the bottom notes of the chords. So that's the bass line notes. I've just copied and pasted that here, bass line. And then I've used the tools to chop. Chop each section into four, trim it down a little bit, and put it on the offbeat where the bass would normally go. And then I've duplicated it and put it an octave below on where the kick would be so then it, it goes up and down Thank you. 